Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Crafting with Mermaid Tears. Today we are going to be making a sea glass canvas art. So hopefully you have some paint handy and a canvas handy and some sea glass and you're ready to go. The first thing that I'm going to do is wet my bigger brush. It doesn't matter if your brushes are the same size. I just happen to have two different ones. And just actually give my canvas a little bit of a water wash here. With my canvas wet and my brush wet, I'm going to start by doing just a layer of white paint. <clears throat> when you're painting, you want to make sure that you are always going the same direction. And if you don't want to get a buildup of paint along the sides, take your brush and run it right over and flick it off. With the white still on my brush, I'm going to just dip it in the water and I'm going to pick up a little bit of my blue that I have here. And with the canvas still wet, and again I still have the white on my brush, I've picked up some of the blue and I'm just going to go over top of it. So you don't want to add any more blue when you're doing that, you just want it to keep following down. Now I've turned mine around because the darker blue is at the top and the lighter blue ended up at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is use this top half to be my sky and the bottom half to be my ocean. So now I'm going to add just blue to my brush and I'm going to decide where I want the waterline to be. And I'm just kind of doing little wispy strokes because this is my water line so I don't want it to be perfect and you're just going to keep doing that until you are happy with your blue color. If you want to create more of a watery effect you just take your paintbrush and hold it upwards and slide it that way over your drawing. I would like to have some darker streaks so I'm going to just dip my brush in blue and using that technique that I showed you, I'm going to just daub along a couple of brighter blue areas. So now what I'm going to do is create this kind of an aqua color. And to do that, I'm going to take a scoop of my blue, put it over here. I'm going to take a small scoop of my yellow and I'm going to blend them together. And that's still a little too blue, so I'm going to take a little bit more yellow and mix it all up. There you go, it's getting more aqua. But it's too dark for me, so now I'm going to just take a little bit of the white and I'm going to mix that in until I have the color of blue or aqua that I like. Once I have that color, I'm going to do the same effect now, creating the different blues. Once I'm done with my water and I'm happy with how it turned out, I'm going to clean my brush, put my stuff aside, and let it dry for a minute. While my canvas is drying, I'm going to take my pieces of sea glass and dry fit them just on the piece of paper here so I know how I want them to look on my canvas. I'm going to do a boat, so I've used half of a bottle of a bottle as my base of the boat, and then I'm using a piece of driftwood as the mass of the boat and then I found a couple of pieces that kind of look like sails so I'm gonna see how I want to fit them on my piece so I'm happy with how this looks as a dry fit so it's a good time to take a picture of the dry fit and that way when your canvas is dry you know how to start applying this the other thing I'm going to do is slide it over to the side so that it's out of the way and I can piece it together on my dry canvas. Now that my canvas is dry, as I said, I'm going to pick the pieces up one at a time from the boat. So the most obvious one to pick up is going to be the base. And I'm going to decide how I would like to place it, if I'd like to place it going smoothly, if I'd like to place it maybe going over a little bit of an angle. I'm going to place mine so that it's going up a little bit. Because I'm gluing it onto a canvas and I want to make sure that it sticks nicely, I am using the hot glue gun setting. With my piece nicely glued, I'm going to set it down and just push it into place. The next piece that I'm going to put on is going to be my piece of driftwood. I'm going to do it so that this mark on the bottom is facing downwards. 
Once I have my mask on, I'm going to do the first piece of the my sea glass has a natural bit of a curve to it, so I'm gonna put that, make sure that that's the part that's standing up, so the bump is going up this way. The reason for that is to just make it look like the sails actually got some wind in it. With that piece down and glued, it's time to put on the second piece. And again, I'm doing it so that the curve is rounded up. Now with that piece on, it is time to put on my final little piece here. You now that I have my boat in place, I'm going to use a mixture of whites and aquas and blues, and I'm actually going to go over the water with them a little bit. When I've got my blue pieces ready, I'm going to just glue along there or glue on the back. I prefer to glue along here because there's less chance of me burning my fingers. And then I'm just going to slide the glass pieces into place where I think they will look nice. So I'm going to add just a couple more pieces kind of randomly and then I'm going to take some smaller pieces and kind of do them as little splashes here. And because I have a couple pieces of the nice cobalt blue I'm just going to add them for a little bit more of a pop. And there is the completed piece. What I normally do is pick it up just give it a little bang to make sure that everything stays on. Because it is a canvas piece, I'm also going to take some crystal clear um, varnish glossy finish stuff here. And that just helps to protect my canvas and act as another sealer. And I'm just going to give it a really light spray. And leave that aside to dry. Thank you so much for joining me once again on Crafting with Mermaid Tears. I hope that you will come back in a couple of weeks to see what new crafts I have in store for you. Have yourself a wonderful remainder of the day.